Russia was involved in a significant and aggressive disinformation campaign in 2016 uh, during the elections, in part to uh, support Donald Trump as president, and then just in general to influence the, the uh, views of Americans. Um, between 2016 and 2020, we saw extensive Russian disinformation just attempting to sow discord within the United States. And what's interesting in the cases where I explored, examined, analyzed Russian disinformation, uh, they supported kind of extreme positions of all sides of almost every major issue. So they created fake uh, Facebook accounts, Twitter accounts, uh, a range of other uh, uh, Telegram channels to push out information both pro and con on Black Lives Matter, gun control, the Me Too movement, almost any potentially polarizing issue. Uh, the Russians were supporting extreme views on all sides. And again, their goal is pretty straightforward, I think, and that is to undermine American faith in democracy. So we, we saw that after the 2020 election where there were concerns among some American politicians, including uh, Donald Trump, that the election was stolen. And we saw a number of Russian disinformation campaigns highlight the lack of validity and legitimacy of the 2020 election, even though this was uh, a, fa a fabrication but push that information onto digital platforms. They try, in the US, they tried to hide, they generally tried to hide uh, their origins of it by uh, essentially creating front or shell companies where, uh, or, or sites where it looks like they were veterans, if they were targeting veterans, looks like they were uh, conservatives or Christian fundamentals if they were targeting those kinds of audiences. So they would create different accounts uh, recognizing that Americans targeted were more likely to believe uh, Twitter accounts or Facebook pages that they trusted that had a similar ideological view. So those that supported uh, QAnon, uh, the Russians in several cases set up Facebook pages and Twitter accounts and web pages that were sympathetic to QAnon and then continued to spout these arguments that were misinformation uh, and disinformation that the, um, that the elections were, were stolen. So it was a pretty interesting strategy based on psychology that they identified you know, individuals and groups that would potentially be more vulnerable, set up sites that they'd be more attracted to and more willing to listen, and then push down uh, disinformation on those accounts.